Hello students and parents. Welcome to today's maths class. Today we will work on numbers from the maths book. So let's get started. First of all, let me show you the numbers the way your child is going to write. First it's a right curve, right slanting line, then a standing line, then a small sleeping line, it's one, then two is left open curve, then a sleeping line, it's two, then three is left open curve once, then again left open curve twice, it's three, now four is right slanting line, then a sleeping line, then a standing line, it's four, then five, five is a sleeping line, then a small standing line, then a left open curve, it's five, then six is a right open curve, then make a circle here inside, it's six, then seven is a sleeping line, then a right slanting line. It's seven. Then eight is a right open curve. Then again bend it towards left open curve. Then make it as a shape of zero. Then again close this with another zero. Just a shape like S letter. Then 9 is a right open curve, then a standing line. It's 9. Now we have finished with the numbers. Next, let me show you the books and notebook belong to the subject. This one is the math book. Now in the first page of the maths book, there are two apples, one is big and one is small. Here the instruction is there, color the bigger apple red and color the smaller apple green. First of all, we need to make your child differentiate between a big apple and a small apple. Otherwise, big thing and a small thing. So. In my way, stocking, uh, stocking and sorting toys are a great way to teach your child the difference between big and small. You can get bowls or glasses which demonstrate the difference. You can do the same with regular household items. Give your child bottles, glasses, boxes, toys of varying sizes. So this one is the first day's activity. Next, let's start with the notebook now. Here I have written 1, 2 and 3 leaving 3 squares in between and I have put some dots here by leaving one square so that the writing uh, numbers we can recognize properly and it will be visible more clearly. Now I have written one here and leaving one square I will write again one, now another one, now another one, now another one. Do help your child to write like this, leaving one square each. 
and next number is 2 likewise your child is going to write like this 2 2 2 here 2 then 3 like this 3 3 3 Likewise, your child needs to finish the whole page. I have written 4, 5, 6 also here. 7, 8, 9 also there. In the next page, 10, 11, 12. Your child needs to copy all these. 13, 14, 15, copy, 16, 17, 18, copy, 19, 20, copy. I have written up to 20. So likewise, finish all these by copying the numbers. For today's class, it's a request parents, please make sure that your child is going to practice all the tasks as much as possible. Bye, stay safe and take care.